Now before we start on today's video, I'm going to show you what we're aiming for. It's uh, a little dangly earring using the sterling silver posts, um, some crimps, some small beads from this mixed bead pack. I chose the colours that I wanted from them because there are plenty of uh, doublers and triplers and even more. And then also some of this lovely snaky chain, right, which you can crimp. And we don't really need a huge amount, we need a couple of tools for cutting. And the first thing that I did was I cut a piece of this chain six centimetres long. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're not talking much. Six centimetres, it's not critical because you're going to um, trim it later on. We start with that. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be into the total fiddle because we're going to pick these crimps up and we're going to start crimping this. So we pick one up to start off with. There we are, success at last. There's the first crimp. Now you need to crimp it quite firmly because you don't want your pearls fall falling off. Right, now you've put your pearls aside. So first thing we do is we're going to thread this through pearl, right, so there's our first little dangle, and then we're going to put another crimp on. Right, there's your crimp on. Now, we're going to crush this, but don't go too close to your pearl, because otherwise you might scrape your pearl, okay, so just give it a, a little tiny bit of play. Then we put a third crimp on. And we're going to space this crimp. So you want to keep these uh, spaced out. So I am going to use my first one as my guide. So get it just about there like that, that's about right, down slightly I think. Yeah, there we are, that's fine. And then we put the next pearl on, find the hole. Generally even easier when you find the hole, you'd be surprised. There we are, look, if you look at that, you can see the same thing. Then the next crimp. And again, using these. When you do the first one, you can always use a ruler as a guide. But this is, this is the time it's a little bit more critical because you want the two earrings to match. Right, so there, there, and just with a little bit of care. Let me move that back there. Oops, sorry. Now your next one, we're going to space to have it up there. Next crimp on, off camera. I'll say this for the third time because I'm so short-sighted, I need to be off camera just a little bit. Right, so let's space that there, that there. And see, that now needs to come down ever so slightly to match one okay good squeeze and the last pearl okay so we're fine last crimp for the moment there will be more crimps Okay, 
Okay, right, last crimp in place now. Now, in order to fix it into there, we are going to need another crimp. So we're going to take a culotte. Okay, they look like that. And there's a hole at the bottom of the culotte there, and we're going to thread this through the hole. Okay, so we're through the hole. Then we're going to take another crimp and thread it on. And we want that to be in about the same place. So, oops, oops crimps come off. What's critical here is that you get the crimp in the right place because the culotte is going to slide back off to it, okay? So, sort your crimp out. Get your crimp right, just up ever so slightly. And then squeeze your crimp. Once that's done, I'm going to trim this just a little bit. You can see the crimp there. We're going to trim it just above the crimp. Then that's going to hold it inside there. So you take your culotte and you are going to squeeze it shut. And that will hide your culotte. There we are, there's our earrings. And then this time I'm going to show you with the, the fish hook. Basically, there's your hook. You hook that through there. And then take your pliers. And fold it in. And there's your earring. Okay. So, you have a choice. You have the one with the sterling silver post and you have the one with the, um, with the fish hook. The only thing I will say with this, it's going to drop further than this one. So, think about your length when you, when you do it with this one. Um, my only thing I would say when you order these sterling silver posts is that they don't come with anything to close them so you will need some sort of post closer um, when you buy these okay but that's how you end up getting to uh, equally spaced earrings but you've got to be very careful on how you do it and then you'll get a nice drippy droppy earring thanks very much we'll go on to the next one okay for this video, or this part of the video, we're going to make a necklace that you can wear with the earrings. You can, if you like, crimp it to open up the beads, or, as I'm going to do today, something really quick and easy, I'm just threaded the beads onto a piece of this lovely crimp chain, and I've cut a piece, I put it all in the description below, I've cut a piece 50 centimetres long okay and then they'll just they'll just move and they, they look really nice on there now the next thing we're going to need is a toggle a couple of jump rings small ones please and the culotte again for finishing now i've cut this 50 centimeters but if you think it's too long for you you can cut it a little bit shorter it doesn't matter you try it on try one do one side try it on if it's too long cut it a bit shorter now we're going to do the same as we did before. We're going to just thread this into the hole. Sorry if I'm off camera again. Right, thread that into the hole. Thread one of these tiny little crimps. Um, I'll keep on talking to you. Whoops. 
I think you've seen me doing this quite often. Thread a tiny crimp. Right. Thread a tiny crimp onto the crimp wire. Oops. Take it up to about there and squash. For extra security, if you want, you can thread two on. Okay, but uh, this should hold. Then once you've done that, okay, once it's on there, you just close the culotte like that. Right, now we're going to put the jump ring on there. Open that up slightly. Put the jump ring on. And then close that. Make sure you close it properly, otherwise it will come off. Okay, should be closed. Then to put the toggle on, remember what I told you before, move it back and forwards. Close it up. And then close it. And there's your one side done. Right, at this point you can put it around your neck to see whether it's the, the right length. And then you repeat exactly the same technique with the other side. But this time putting the ring on rather than the um, bar. So again, through the hole. Through the hole. Through the crimp. through the crimp, squash the crimp tight. One thing about crimps is that you don't have to worry about them um, close that up. Okay, this time I'm going to close this as well, just to show you an alternative way of doing it. Right, so that's closed. Right, let's take your jump ring, open it up, through there, through there, and then holding the jump ring like that. Peek some focus for you. <clears throat> you should hear it click. And basically, that's it. So all you needed to do with that one, it's a very quick and easy necklace and it matches the earrings. Remember, you can put either type of finish on the earrings and you've got a quick matching jewellery set. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe.